All right, welcome. So this is uh, a video here to show you how to do the chapter 14 uh, workout problems assignment set. Okay, so we're going to start out with uh, a quick study this time. Actually, the quick study that's due in the assignment set is quick study number eight. So quick, under quick study number eight, what we've got is we've got a company that's issuing 8% uh, 10 year bond with a par value of $250,000 semi-annual interest payments. Okay, so you guys are uh, supposed to work this out and you're supposed to get a uh, figure out the first item is what are the issuers cash proceeds from insurance of these bonds okay and so the the way this works is uh, this bond is issued at a premium so the selling price is 123 per point uh, th uh, 123 and 3 eighths percent higher than um, the par value that's the cash it was issued at it was issued at a premium so the way we work that is uh, so let's so so this is our uh, par value okay so we're going to start out with par value and that equals uh, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars okay and so the selling price is 123 and 3 eighths. So we want to multiply uh, this par value by the selling value uh, percentage, basically. So this is the selling uh, price. Okay. Price, there we go. Okay. I'm going to bring up, bring up my calculator here. Okay, so we're going to go uh, 250 times, uh, and, and, the, um, and the 123 and 3 eighths is actually uh, in decimal format 1.2 three three seven five okay okay and so what this means is uh, and I didn't get my decimal po point in the right place here but uh, so let's start over here 250,000 times okay there we go there we go so that is the uh, selling price. Okay, so that's the answer to the first one. So what are the issuers' cash proceeds from issuance of these bonds? That's what they are right there. $308,437.50. Okay, so now uh, what we need to do is, uh, number two is what a total amount of bond interest will be recognized over the life of these bonds. So what's the interest that's recognized over the life of the bonds? Okay, so the, the way we're going to figure this out is uh, we are going to, here let's get rid of the, actually let's put the calculator up here. We'll bring it back here after a while. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to, uh, let's, let's go ahead and keep the par value here that we had. Uh, what's my amount here? Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So here's par value. And what we need to do uh, is we need to multiply our par value by 
uh, the percentage rate. Okay, not the market rate. So our interest expense is going to be based off of the percent on the bond. So it's going to be 0 0.08 is the decimal for the 8% the interest. This is going to take place semi-annually. So it's going to be uh, times 1 half, right? So every half year. Okay. And those are that that's going to equal uh, ten thousand okay dollars. Okay. Now the question is so so what, so what we just calculated is uh, the interest payment for each each payment each semiannual payment. So we need to figure out what the over the life of the bond what it's going to be. And so we've got uh, 10 years, okay? And we are going to do that uh, twice a year, semi-annually. So the number of periods uh, where we're gonna have interest payments are gonna be, is gonna be 20 periods, okay? And we multiply the, these 20 periods by the 10,000. So each period we're gonna have this 10,000, okay? Okay, so what that is, is that is the uh, 20 semi-annual interest payments, okay, 10,000 bucks a piece. Now, what we have to do to figure the total interest expense, okay, so the expense is going to be the these interest payments minus any premium, bond premium, okay. So the bond premium uh, is going to reduce this interest expense. And so the bond premium can be calculated. So we, we calculated the, the, um, the total cash proceeds, right? 400, uh, wait, actually, let's back up. It's 438. Okay, so those are, that's the total cash proceeds. Uh, we're going to subtract out of that our par value. Okay, which is 250. Now this is our uh, bond premium that we're calculating here. So our bond premium on this one is going to be right there. Okay, so the bond premium, in the case of premium, it is going to reduce interest expense. So this is the interest paid. So this is uh, payments, right? Interest payments. We're going to subtract out the premium from that, and that's going to equal our interest expense. So we know from accounting the payments aren't necessarily going to be expenses straight up. Okay, so the payments in this case of $200,000 are, are connected with uh, the interest rate on the face of the, on the par value of the note. But what we do to really expense it and to get the right amount is we subtract out the uh, bond premium and that's going to leave us with this is going to be the interest expense right there. Okay. All right. So that's for number two. Oh, what else are we doing? We're doing number three. So number three is bond interest. What is the amount of bond interest expense recorded in the first interest payment date? Okay. So out of that $10,000, right? How much is bond interest? Well, that's just as easy as taking our interest expense right here and dividing it by 20 uh, 
20 of 20 periods basically right and that's going to equal Seven hundred seven thousand seventy eight dollars. So that's going to be the interest component of that, uh, or the interest expense, I should say, of the first uh, payment. The rest is going to be amortization of uh, the uh, amortization of the bond uh, premium. Okay, premium on premium on premium on bond. All right, so now we're moving over and we're going to be doing exercise four. Let me scroll down here and find exercise four. So exercise four is we're recording bond issuance and discount amortization. So bond issuance is when we first issue a bond and, and the, what we uh, record for that issuance, okay? So it's going to look something like this. So this is going to be just to exercise uh, four right on this. Okay. Okay. So to figure out the issuance, we're going to have to read here on exercise four. The way it works is our par value is uh, two hundred thousand. Okay. Are let's see what else am I going to need to know? I'm going to need to know if this is um, being issued at a discount or a premium. In this case, it's a discount. Okay, it doesn't say what the discount is in the note, but it does give us the table down below, and so um, we know that the discount. is uh, uh see 13,466 okay and so and, the, and these are all going to come into play so here so let's go ahead and uh just put our um do our journal entry here so we got the date we got the account we got a debit and we've got a credit. And we'll use this up top here as our calculation area. Okay, so that the, it was issued on December 31st. Okay, that's our date. The account that we're going to use right off the bat is when we issue it, we're going to receive cash for it, right? So that's going to be one of the accounts we're going to have. The other one, since we're issuing at a discount, we're going to have discount on bonds uh, payable. Okay. The other side of that is the actual liability that we're creating here, which is a bond. So it's going to be bonds payable. Okay. So those are our accounts here. All right. So. We look at this and with the discount we're able to say okay we have a par value but we're offering it a discount which means that the actual cash we get it is less than the 200,000. So the, the actual cash here in this case is going to be equal to the 200,000 minus the discount. All right so there's our cash uh, 186, 534 and our discount is going to be our 13,000. 466 and uh, the bonds payable is the, is the par value okay so that's what that is there okay so that's the first part of um, the exercise for uh, let's go ahead and put uh, this is a Okay, now we're going to be doing B here. 
So B is going to require us to do, so we're going to record the first pay, uh, interest payment on June, 6th, June 30th, 2016. So this one is the first interest payment. Okay, so first we need to calculate it. What is our first interest payment? Okay, we know that this bond is issued at, uh, it's 6%. Okay, so here's our percentage here, our bond interest is at 6%. Okay, uh, we know that um, the amount of periods, so periods are kind of important because periods, what it's going to help us uh, track here is uh, how many is how to convert our percentage. So this interest rate that we just put up here, 6% is actually an annual interest rate. And so we're actually going to have two periods within the year. Okay. All right. So that's two periods within the year. And that's going to help us calculate some uh, important things here. Okay. So in order to come up with our initial uh, interest rate, we're going to have uh, equals our par value times uh, 6%, right? So we're going to want to uh, put all that over in brackets here, and then we're going to divide by our, our periods. Okay, so that's, that is the payment that we're going to be making for interest. That's not going to be our interest expense. So the way we're going to lay it out is, this one here is uh, June 30, right, is when we're going to do this. So we're going to have cash going out. We're going to, we, will want, we want to figure out what the bond expense is. Okay, so here's our bond interest expense. And as part of this, since it's a discount, we're also going to have dis discount on uh, bonds payable. This is going to come into play. Uh, then the last one is going to be cash. Okay, so we know our cash out is going to be six thousand dollars. Okay. Since we're discounting, our bond interest expense is going to be higher. Is the way it's going to work. And I'll, uh, and I'll show you show you how this works here. So, um, so we're going to expense this discount out over the life of the bond. Okay. So, what is the life of the bond? The life of the bond is going to be uh, four years. Okay. And okay. So here we are. So the life of the bond is going to be over four years, right? Okay, four years uh, is the life of the bond. And the other part that we need to figure out is, is that's not how many uh, periods there are in the, in the bond though, okay? Uh, so what we need to figure out is, is how many uh, periods we need to divide this discount out over. So four years, but in each year we're going to have two periods, right? So does that make sense? So we, we've got to do everything according to the the amount of uh, periods that we're going to have. So it's going to be four years times two periods is going to give us eight total total periods for the life of the bond. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our discount and we're going to divide it by the amount of periods. This will give us the uh, discount of bonds payable per period that we need to amortize. Okay, so we see down here we in our discount of bonds payable, we're able to put in the 1683 into that. Okay, now in order to get our expense, basically we just have to balance our uh, entry here. So we have 7683 in credits, nothing in debits, so that means we need to have. Uh, 7,683 in our debits, and there's the balance, okay? Let me make sure I put this in here. Uh, sold uh, bonds uh, discount, 
okay and then the, our next explanation here is going to be uh, paid semi-annual interest payment okay so that's what that is okay now it's going to be we're going to go on to C here so that was B now we're going to go on to C so C is where we have to do the second interest payment okay All right, and the second the second interest payment is exactly the same as the first. It's just going to be on a different date. So we're going to have December thirty first, and we're going to plug and play this one. Oh, same old, same old. Okay, so that's that's the way it works um, for exercise fourteen four. Okay, the next one that we're going to do is going to be 14.5, so the one right after it. Okay, on this one we're going to do the issuance. We're going to do the first through four payments and we're going to do the maturity of the bond uh, December uh, in 2017. So we can we can actually use all the stuff that we've done so far, okay? So exercise five is what we're going to do. do. So we're going to take this, copy it over to exercise five, okay? And then I need to just make it bigger here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to put our new information in here. Um, so this one here is a two-year bond. So I'm going to change my year. Uh, it's going to have a par value of 200000 Good. Semi-annual interest payments. Very good. Uh, whoops. That's not, not what I wanted to do. So it's instead of four years, it's two years. So that'll be four. Um, okay, and we got our um, unamortized discount. We got twelve thousand on this this new one that's off the table that's below there. Okay. So really, to make it easy, let's just reference these calculations that I've done here. Uh, Okay, so these I'm just referencing these calculations. So that's what that is. All right, very good. Now the next one I'm going to be uh, referencing. Um, I'm going to come up with a new interest rate, right? So it's not six percent. In this case, it's five percent. Okay. And um, so there's our. There we go. So that, that updates everything. I've already updated my year in there. Instead of four, it's going to be two. Okay, so now uh, my new uh, cash payment is going to be that, 5000 My new uh, discount on bond is going to be this 3000 here. And this is going to equal both of these. Add it up. Okay. There we go. That's that. Okay. Whoops. That didn't work. Um, let's see. Okay. So that's the first. So we need to do the first four payments. Okay. Okay. So this is 2016, uh, June and December. And... This is all B. Delete that. June and December. So this is 2000, 2016. And now we're going to take this. 
Okay, we got to do the next couple, and they're going to be the, exactly the same, so it's no big deal. We can just use the same numbers. All right, and so then that is 2017. Now we're going on to C for that one. Okay, so C says the maturity of the bond. So now we need to do the maturity. Okay, so uh, what this one is, is as we fully depreciated out, it's only a two-year bond, right? And so now that we've fully amortized the discounts on bonds payable, we don't have any, don't have that to to deal with. All we have to do is we have to uh, pay back the par value. So this is uh, December thirty-first. We're going to pay back the bonds, so we're reducing our liability bonds payable. And we're going to be paying that with cash. So there goes our cash out the door. And it's $200,000. Okay. So that's what that is. All right. So that's the um, number C for that one. Okay. Let's keep cruising on here. The next one is uh, 14 uh, exercise 7. Okay, so this one's a little different. This one's a premium now. So that what we've been doing is we've been doing discounts. So um, premium's going to be a little different. Exercise seven. Okay, we can actually take. Um, let's see. We can actually take some of what we've done with the others and we can do the premium. Uh, no, we're not going to be recording uh, an entry here. So what it wants us to do is, it, what is the amount of the premium on these bonds at issuance? How much total uh, bond interest expense will be recognized over the life of these bonds? So we're kind of doing what we did back in the very first example that we did. So here's Here's just the, it's just the premium calculation. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a uh, par value. And the par value for uh, exercise seven is $400,000. All right, we've got an Uh, interest rate and the interest rate is 13 percent uh, and it's going to be semi-annual so our periods going to be two semi-annual and uh, let's see here it says the bonds are sold so we're going to have a cash value here of the bonds of 409 850. So that actually tells us what the premium is. So we actually need to uh, solve for the premium here in this case, right? So par value plus the premium equals the cash value. So we're going to work back the other way and we're going to say our cash value minus the par value is going to give us the premium. So there's our premium right there. Okay. So that's our really our answer for um, the first one, this one right here. Hopefully that helps. Okay. And now uh, part, so let's see. So that was part one. Now part two is going to look like this. And it, it says, how much total bond interest expense will be recognized over the life of these bonds? 
Okay, and so in this case, with a premium, it's going to... Um, let's see, let's make sure I got this here. It's going to reduce our expense. Um, okay, so so what happens is is we're going to have uh, our our real expense, right? So we we can calculate that up here. So um, it's going to be uh, equals four hundred thousand times our. So let's put put a little brackets here. 400,000 times our percentage, close that out, and divide by 2, okay, so every period we're going to have uh, 26. We know that it's this is a three-year uh, three year bond, so it matures in three years, okay, so what that tells us is we're going to have uh, six payments, right? of uh, $26,000, right? Okay. So six payments of $26,000 is going to be uh, six times 26,000. Okay, so there's our, there's our amount there. Okay, so this this is how how much uh, how many payments we're going to have for our interest. Okay, so we're let's go ahead and add the par value onto this, which is four hundred thousand, right? That's going to give us the total amount uh, that we're going to repay, total repaid value of it, all right? So we're going to get our, all of our interest payments plus uh, our par value, okay, uh, so that, and that gives us basically the total amount that we're going to repay, and, and then now what we're going to do is we're going to do less amount borrowed, and what was the amount that we borrowed? Is this cash amount right? So we we bought we we uh, borrowed that much. They paid us that much for for our bonds. Okay. And then we're able to calculate the total interest expense out of that. And the way that goes is it's going to be like this. So it's going to be our uh, total repaid minus the total borrowed is interest, right? That's the, the, the essence of interest is how much it costs us. It's the cost of money, right? So the interest is the cost of money. So if we had to repay $146,150 more than we borrowed, that's our interest. That's really our interest expense, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so that's our answer there for that part, part two. Uh, our part three is going to look like this. So we're going to prepare an amortization table like the one uh, in, it's in 14-11 for these bonds. Okay, so we're going to, so we're going to um, go grab this amortization table here and build it. Uh, it's going to look something like let me get it here real quick it's going to start out the first column in the amortization table is going to be uh, our uh, semi annual interest period end Okay, so that's, uh, let's go ahead and make this a, uh, 
format cells. That's what I'm looking for right there. And we're going to do wrap text, which will stack our text up so we don't have to use the whole page on that. So this is our semi-annual interest period. And the next column is going to be unamortized premium. And the next one's going to be carrying value. Okay. We'll do the same for these. Well, they're going to do format cells, wrap text. Okay. So there we are. And we can center these up. Okay, so so we know from the top here that our uh, premium is uh, $9,850 on these bonds. Okay, so starting off at the very first one, uh, we're going to have 01, 01, 2015. Okay, so that's our very first one. We know that that is our balance that we're going to have starting off. And which means our carrying value is going to be uh, the total cash that we got, right? Which is the bond premium plus the par value. Okay? And that's what that is. So every period that we have, we're going to amortize a chunk of that uh, premium off. Okay? So in this case, it's going to be over one, two, three, four, five, six periods, right? So we have two periods every year, and we have three total years. Okay, so our total amortization is going to look something like this. Um, amortization per period is going to be this, uh, the premium divided by our total periods, which are six. Okay. So that's the chunk that we're going to be taking off every uh, period is what's going to happen. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and do our next, do all of our dates here. 30, 2015. Twelve thirty one two thousand fifteen. Uh, 6 30 2016 sorry so we're just going down here 12 31 2016 and this is our last one here well actually not our last one we'll keep going 6 30 2017 12 31 2017 okay so there are all of our periods uh, every time we go down here uh, let's go ahead and round this real quick. Mm -hmm. Boom, there we go. Okay, so every time we go down, we're going to say uh, this one is going to equal uh, the one previous minus uh, the amortization component. Okay? Okay, so that looks good. Now, this one's going to drop by that as well. The carrying value is gonna, also going to drop. As we amortize it, the carrying value drops as well. So this is going to equal that. Uh, minus the amortization as well. Okay, so this is going to be. Uh, let's see which one here. Boom, boom. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fix the F here uh, to be permanent. So we're going to hit our F4 button and add our add our dollar signs in there. Same thing here. F4 add dollar signs into that, and then we can just drag it down. Okay, so there we go. And there we go. So at the very end, the idea is the carrying value will be par value. Okay, so this is the amortization of the premium. Okay, so hopefully hopefully that helps. It works out into accounting with do, uh, factoring this stuff in like we were doing over here with the discounts in with the discounts we're gonna it's gonna be a credit every time with a premium it'll be a debit every time okay 
So with those, as you factor those into your bond interest payments, uh, it's going to be amortizing your carrying value either up or down depending on if it's a premium or a discount. So that's something to get a handle on definitely because we're going to be doing some of these for the upcoming exam. So if you have questions, we'll talk about it in class and follow up on this. Okay, so now to, f to finish out here, see we got um, a couple more. I'm going to do another one more section of this. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and then I'll, I'll create another video for you to to look at here when we're done.